Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16? Are we on 16? Wow. I look very bad right now, but ignore that. Usually I try to get the vlog up, get ready for the day, and then make lunch, start the vlog somewhere after getting ready for the day. But I woke up late today and I am just now getting the vlog up from yesterday. It's still processing. It is already two o'clock, so I'm gonna go make lunch now. We're gonna have that Asian salad that I showed you yesterday, and then we'll get ready, and then we've got some stuff planned to do today, and hopefully maybe try and get my sleep schedule back in order, because I don't like waking up at 9 a.m. and feeling like I don't actually have time to get things done, having lunch super late, so we're gonna try and go to bed at a decent time, so. I don't know if I'm gonna get to play on Twitch today, but I think I'm gonna try to after we make some gingerbread cookies, but that's the plan for today. So let's go make lunch and then put my face on. Thank God for a super easy, quick lunch. I need this in my life. I am hoping that's, oh, okay. So when I read this, it said two and a half servings per container. But this be looking like one salad. I probably should have gotten two. What I think we're gonna do is also make a smoothie to have with this. Cause, honey, that is enough for one person. That is not two salads. All right, that's okay. We know for next time. I'm gonna set this aside and toss it in a minute. We'll, we'll make a smoothie first. And I think I might add that sesame tofu to it to give it like something more because Dressing and wontons, delicious, not substantive. Sesame tofu, smoothie time. There's like chocolate on my counter from last night. I am very cold right now, so making a smoothie is um, probably not the best option, but it is the most healthy and quickest that I can do. Probably not gonna use all of the dressing because I feel like it's a lot. Just start out with a little bit. Yes, with the tofu in there, it makes this so much better, I feel like. Okay, this is lunch. My partner's lunch. I always give him more, a bit more in his bowl and a bit more smoothie because you know he's bigger than me. And I will leave this dressing out because he might want some more on his salad. I think we're just gonna go watch some TV while we eat lunch. So, we're gonna make the hot cocoa bombs. I'm just heating up some milk. Heat it up and then I'll froth it with my little frother, I think. Okay. It's starting to get hot. I feel like if I whisk it enough, it'll like, I won't need to get the foamer, it'll foam up on its own. Yeah, it's working. Yo, that actually foamed up like really well. Look at that. We're gonna turn that off and remove from the heat so it doesn't boil over, because we're getting close there. Okay. For the vlog, we're gonna drop the hot cocoa bombs in the hot milk and see how this goes. The oat milk really foams up really well when I was heating it on the stove, just whisking it, so I didn't have to use the little foamy thing. So, let's try it. Gotta get a spoon first. Okay, which one are we gonna do? I feel like I wanna do this one because it's ugly, so let's get it out of the way. 
The vegan marshmallows don't float to the top as easily. I mean, there they are. They're coming. They're floating up. Ooh, that chocolatey goodness. I also want to make a white chocolate mocha because I have white chocolate now, vegan white chocolate. Okay, let's drop one in here. Let's go with... Um, this one seems the next ugliest, so let's go with that. Wow, that's super hot. I should get another spoon for this one. So chocolatey. Okay, we gotta do a taste test. And we gotta bring this one to my partner so he can do a taste test. Taste test? It's like really hot. Oh my god. So I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be chocolatey enough because the, the bomb molds that I got are too small. They don't fit two tablespoons of hot chocolate mix in them, which is what you're supposed to use for eight ounces of milk, which is what this is. But because they're made of chocolate and they have more chocolate on top, I was like, well, maybe the melted chocolate will make up for not having enough cocoa mix. And oh my God, it does. This is so good. Okay, we have to go get my boyfriend's reaction. I'm gonna see if I can get him to come out here though. Okay. So we got both cameras on. Oh my gosh. Seriously. I'm leaving this in the YouTube video. Nope, that one's mine. This one's mine. I'm trying to hand one. Oh. I'm trying to hand it to you. Okay. Clink. Clink. So a guy goes to the doctor and says, doctor, every time I have my coffee, I get a pain in my eye and the doctor says, have you tried taking the spoon out? Mmm. It's really yummy. Are the marshmallows tucked inside the... Yeah, the marshmallows okay. are inside the hot cocoa bomb, so when you drop it in there, it's it just, just... It just goes. Yeah. I love it. And yeah, it, it doesn't taste like not chocolatey enough without... Because of all the melted chocolate. They taste delicious. Thank you, booby. God, it's already getting dark in here because we started late today, so we've got the ring light for some actual light. I hope this helps. I haven't been using the ring light lately, and I really, really should be so that there's a little bit better lighting so y'all can see me better, honestly. So I have my gingerbread cookie recipe right here, which will be linked down below. Go ahead and whip this up. butter my sugar in there and my molasses I gotta dig the molasses out of the back of the fridge I don't ever use molasses and anything but gingerbread because I don't really like molasses we are almost out of brown sugar too molasses. tiny whisk activate Measuring because it's gonna take forever to get out. Later that same evening. I can't. I'm done. That's as much as I'm getting out of this bottle. I don't care. I don't really like molasses, anyways. We've gotta move on with our day. Now I have molasses all over my hands. I am not okay. Is the flax egg ready? No, it is not. It is still getting there because I didn't use hot water, so it's gonna take longer. We might have to use some gluten-free flour because we out of flour.
this is what it looks like when I'm baking for myself and not for the camera. Why don't... Okay, look. I am too short to reach anything in my kitchen. Okay, look, we are out of all-purpose flour, so we're just gonna make these gluten-free. That's what's happening. Yes, I cleaned this before I stuck it in here, don't worry. They're probably gonna turn out basically the same. I was about to be like, wow, that's a lot of ginger. They're gingerbread cookies. I am dumb sometimes. I'm not a huge fan of allspice in sweet recipes, but I had it in a savory recipe recipe last week. You guys saw that, and it was really good. It was in a um, jerk marinade. Mixy mix. Mixy 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 mix. We also need to get dinner going. Okay, yeah, because there was not enough molasses, we might have to add like a little agave to this. Just to supplement the like couple of tablespoons that we didn't have. Another liquid sweetener. You'll still get the molasses flavor in there though. Turn it on to some plastic wrap. We're gonna stick it in the fridge for one hour. And then we'll come back to it, we'll roll it out. I've gotta make little um, paper cutouts because we're gonna be making part of this into gingerbread men. And then the other part we're gonna make into pieces to make a gingerbread house. We'll be back to roll these up. Okay y'all, so this is dinner. I'm probably not gonna eat it all. I, that's a lot, but there's beans. Um, there is some vegetables, mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, tempeh, rice, and mixed greens down there. It looks so good with an avocado sauce and a little bit of nooch sprinkled on top. Burrito bowl, homemade burrito moment. Homemade burrito bowl, double double. Homemade burrito bowl moment. That is a tongue twister. Try saying that three times fast. I mm, I couldn't even get it out once. Homemade burrito bowl moment. Say it louder for the camera. Homemade burrito bowl moment. You had to slow down because you were getting a little tongue tied there. Homemade burrito bowl moment. Anyways, food time. We did do a little bit of yoga with the new Apple Fitness. I didn't film that because I wasn't wearing pants. Sorry. Okay, I don't have gingerbread house cookie cutters. I'm sorry if it's loud, he's doing dishes. We're grateful for him. So I'm just gonna cut out the gingerbread house shapes that I need. I'm gonna lay those on top of the cookie dough and cut it with a knife. Turn on the light too so we have a little more light. And I'm gonna look up like a good gingerbread house size to cut. See, when I do this, I find images like this that help me out a lot. So, what style do we want our gingerbread house to be? Gingerbread house template. Does this have, no. Well, yes, okay, it does, it actually does. The roof is 20 centimeters. So 20 by 10. Man, this thing makes this way easier. I should have, I like barely ever use this, but man, it makes things easy. Okay, so this is a roof piece. We need two roofs. So, roof times two. This is a side wall. We're gonna need two of those. So it's gonna be like this, doop doop. Doop doop. There's our sides. Now that we have our cookie cutters made, and then we also, of course, have the little gingerbread guy. I'm gonna roll out the dough. Okay, I need a flour for dusting.
Okay, I have the gingerbread man put away, I have the hot cocoa bombs put away, and I have the house pieces down here put away. I need to clean up these couple of pans, and then we are headed to bed, because it is 10.30 and we're trying to get back on top of sleep schedule so that I'm not sleeping in and getting up the vlog so late the next day, because it went up kind of late today. The recipe for the gingerbread cookies will be down below. Let me know if you like this style of recipe video, this more like vlog style recipe. We're gonna be doing a few more of these through Vlogmas since we're not doing any of the like formal recipes that I normally do. And if you guys like the vlog style, I might do that more often. I quite enjoy doing vlog style as well. I also enjoy editing the vlogs more. They're a lot more fun to edit because there's a lot more going on than just the like, here is how you make a recipe, da 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 Which, I mean, is good and great and I wanna keep putting those videos out for y'all and I probably will keep putting those type of videos out for you guys because I wanna teach you that being vegan can still be delicious and healthy and can be the easy choice. But on that note, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a Vlogmas day and like this video if you liked it. And if you're gonna make gingerbread cookies at home, the gluten-free version turned out really well. They seem pretty normal, so cool. The recipe down below, you can make them gluten-free and they turn out just fine. I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day 17. We are getting up there, I think 17, right? Is this a 16? Cause it's going up tomorrow on the 16th so like, yeah okay i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 17. bye y'all